Hi, welcome to Andrew's Kitchen. So, Thanksgiving's coming up, right? But you don't have money or you're a college student and you're not coming home for Thanksgiving because, you know, your family doesn't appreciate you and stuff like that. Well, I have an idea. How do you can cook to give you a filling, fattening dinner this Thanksgiving? Let's get started. Okay, so here's some of the things you're gonna need. You're gonna need, you know, your food. You need um, spaghetti sauce right here. Uh, the brand, unless it's ragu, doesn't really matter. But I would stick with this or prego. You know, the flavor doesn't matter as long as it's just regular old spaghetti sauce. I mean, you can add stuff to it, but right now, just get regular spaghetti sauce. Um, you're also, just gonna need a bowl, a small bowl. I'll show you how to do it later. Um, you need a spoon to scoop around, and a paper towel would be nice to lay your utensils down. Um, you're going to need a pot to cook the sauce in, and you're going to need some white bread. I use white bread, but wheat bread works too, if that's what you can afford. Um, the brand doesn't matter, like I said, as long as it's just white bread. So, now let's, let's get to cooking. Is you want to put your bread in the toaster. I just put a roll for me because I'm cooking for myself right now too. I put four slices of bread in there. I'm sorry if it's not clean. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to put it on toast. Everything on toast, especially the timer. Instead of keeping on stay on, you're going to want to actually move it so it like works. Because that's good. And you just like toast in there until it looks toasty. You can put more in later if you want or if you think you need to. But for now, just put in that. All right, so now you're gonna get your sauce right here. Just gotta, let me just, let me just. Okay, so that's, uh, so you open it like this, and you're gonna wanna pour some in. Uh, if you want a bigger serving, you can uh, you can do that too. Um, yeah, let me grab the spoon. Here, give me a sec. Okay, so now I have like a nice serving that's for me. So this is where the paper towel comes in handy. You just put it there so you don't touch your dirty counter, which is good. You got your bowl. You're not gonna need that yet. So now you're gonna um, turn your turn your gas on, I mean, as in your oven. You just let that cook. You let that simmer for a bit. So yeah. If you want to wait, if everything's cooking, you just make yourself a little uh, Thanksgiving turkey for Thanksgiving. So you just trace your hand. This is if you have time because sauce is weird in which it cooks kind of fast. Damn, turkey only took five seconds. Yep, that's if your turkey cooks fast though, so. So as you can see, your sauce is starting to cook. So what you want to do is you want to get your spoon again. Since it's a small pot, like a sauce pot, I can't keep my finger in the way. You can just, oh my god, you just scoop it around, make sure you get everything warm, cooked. And the reason why is because sauce and bread kind of makes it fat. So if on a Thanksgiving day or if you're really like, if you don't have a whole lot of cash on you right now, just, you just do this. I mean, if you have noodles lying around, just make spaghetti, but if you have like nothing, just get some sauce like this. I still got more to make some more later, but just a little bit more. So I could smell my toast toasting, so we're gonna finish with this right now. Let's do some more. When it starts bubbling in the middle when it cooks, then you know you're 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 set because that means everything's really cooked. everything. And it's starting to heat up. Looks pretty good. Okay. So I'm gonna put my finger right here. Okay, so it looks like I got I toasted pretty well. How's this? This one's burnt. <laughs> Okay, that one's for me. You can use rolls if you want to, but it's easier to spread. 
You can get a small plate for your bread. So, um, I'm going to get the most coolest plate ever. Not that one. Okay, let's see if we can get this bread out. Uh, oh crap, okay. Alright, uh, this is gonna be, this is like a scorpion's tail. Alright. Skills. Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> so you get your cooked sauce right here. It's a little hot. Ah, dang it's hot. Pour it into your bowl. For easy cleanup, you just put water into it and soak. So it just comes right off. Ta da, here's your dinner. You dip this in here and you eat it. Since bread and sauce is really filling, if you, like I said, and since it's just really kind of cheap actually, maybe coming to a total of five ish dollars or something, you can make this. <laughs> And hell, if you just have bread lying around and just always have a jar of sauce on you, you're set for life, bud. So it's for college students, Thanksgiving dinners you can't afford, and this is Cooking with Andrew. Yep. Amazing.